Good day to you. It's Reverend James Fother, and this is the Bible Study Podcast for United Church of Montbello in Denver, Colorado, on September 7th, 2020. Today, we consider nature's call, and we turn to the musings of the psalmist in Psalm 19 today. Psalm 19, beginning in verse 1, extending through verse 6, where it reads like this, beloveds. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims God's handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard, yet their voice goes out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them, God has set a tent for the sun, which comes forth like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them. And there is nothing hid from its heat. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of God's own holy word. Today, I am grateful to uh, Frederick and Marianne Brassat and for their wonderful text called Spiritual Literacy, Reading the Sacred in Everyday Life. They remind us that nature provides a theater for some of our most dramatic experiences of the sacred. Most people can tell you about a time when they were soothed, inspired, or awed while contemplating the natural world. The settings may vary, but the feelings are universal. Communion with nature may take place while walking in the woods, watching a sunset, fishing in a mountain stream, looking at the waves of the ocean, observing the ripples on a lake or sitting under a tree in a park. Often, these occasions turn into mystical moments when we sense that all the inhabitants of the world, the trees, the flowers, fields, streams, hills, rocks, dolphins, bears, birds, and babies are our relations as the Native Americans express it. When this happens, we have started to read the book of nature, both the historical and the primal religions emphasize the importance of the natural world as a reservoir of spiritual meaning. For Jews, Christians, and Muslims, the earth reflects the glories of God. Buddhists, Hindus, and Taoists look for the connections between nature and human nature as well. Today, I turn to this excerpt from Dan Wakefield's book, Returning, where he talks about his own uh, relationship with nature. And I encourage you as we continue moving towards the change of season, from summer to autumn, in this month of the year, in the month of September, to make sure that everything about nature, you give, give it all a chance to inspire you, to motivate you, and to help you in your spiritual walk. 
Dan Wakefield wrote this. Though I attended Sunday school sporadically, I began to feel more spiritual refreshment out of doors than in church, in the fields and woods not far from my house, in the burning leaves of autumn and the running streams of spring. I felt, I felt and, and he indicates that he feels even, he feels <clears throat> close to the source and mystery of things, the perfume of wet clover, the rough hide feel of the bark of oaks, rushes of wind lifting curled red maple leaves off the hard autumn ground in swirling eddies. These and all the million sights, sounds, and smells of nature from the sweet taste of foxtail grass I chewed as I strolled to the quick flash of a perch below the surface of a brook. All were revelations and messages of some great creating force, which of course was God. Sometimes I felt a frustration that I couldn't decipher the message that I couldn't learn the meaning of it all, of life and earth, simply by trying to commute, uh, communicate with nature. Staring, for instance, as hard as I could at a rock with layers of colors or feeling its smooth, cool surface with my fingers and pressing it in my palm as if I could squeeze out an answer. I knew there were secrets in the woods and sometimes I felt I was very close to them, close to understanding. And there was a thrill in sensing such knowledge, that such knowledge was there. If only I could look close enough or be still enough or be attuned enough. That is nature's call. It helps us get our spirits attuned to what God would say to us, how God would speak to us, how God would soothe our spirits in spite of what the world does to continue to challenge us in every way. Get out in nature, beloved. Get out in a place that inspires you at a time that inspires you. I've always found dusk to be that time of great mystery as afternoon gives way to evening I've always found early morning to be a desirable time to see the, the, the multicolored sky light up with the sun and to praise God in the midst of it, feeling the breeze, seeing the leaves change color and continuing to marvel at the wonder of God's creation. Today, it is my great joy to say to members of the United Church of Montbello, we will gather outdoors on this Sunday, September 11th. We will share the sadness during worship and the remembrance of September 11th, 2001, when tragedy and trauma struck America like on no other date in our history. But then we will celebrate our grandparents on that grandparents day and we will celebrate outdoors beginning at 1030 and going on until 1230 
and we will enjoy a time of fellowship, uh, an all church cookout. And I want to make sure that whether you are an online church person these days or you come to the sanctuary live in person, that you would uh, rally up your, uh, gather up your, uh, <clears throat> your lawn chair, put it in the back seat of your car, park on the ramp side of the building, come on out for a time together where we can be outdoors and, and we can uh, greet one another and enjoy the fellowship of one another and make connections and reconnect uh, in ways that we haven't been able to do since before the pan- pandemic began in, in 2020. So I want to invite you out on this this coming Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday, September 11th. I, I want to make sure that uh, if, if you know of persons that may not regularly listen in to the podcast, you will point them in this direction. You would help them to hear the podcast and begin to commune with nature yourself or continue your regular a communion with nature as God has provided nature as an inspiration to all that God has created. Today, I am glad to, to, to connect with you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Oh God, for the one who is home and healing For the one who is listening in and seeking your inspiration. For the ones who will pick up Psalm 19 and carry it all the way through to the end and not just through the first six verses. To the ones, oh God, who are just seeking your inspiration uh, in nature and in various other ways that you would speak to each one. To all who are seeking answers to prayers, trying to figure out what the key or the keys to answer prayer really is. Oh God, for each one, I pray a special blessing. For each family, I pray a special blessing that is connected to the ones listening to this podcast right now. I ask, oh God, that you would fill each one with your Holy Spirit's power, with your grace, and that you would mercifully look on the situation of each one and make sure they know and understand afresh they are beloved. These things I pray. In Jesus' sweet, majestic, and marvelous, most anointed name. Amen. So this Sunday's schedule will begin at 930 at United Church of Montbello on September 11th. We'll have worship in the sanctuary and online as we usually do at 930 a.m. So whether you tune in online or you come to the sanctuary, certainly know that um, worship will happen uh, as it happens on our regular schedule now at 930 a.m. But then at 1030 a.m. we'll begin a time of the all church cookout and we'll run that time from 10 30 a.m until 12 30 p.m and we hope that you'll find time in your schedule and we hope that you'll find time in your heart to come and be in community with those who love you uh, with those who miss you with those who long for us to Renew those ties, uh, those bonds of Christian fellowship that we know so well and that have been interrupted by this 
uh, terrible pandemic. So uh, I look forward to this time together. I, I, I am planning and, and pulling for a beautiful day and know that God is already cooperating in the forecast of the meteorologists on the newscast. So it promises to be uh, a warm day, but not one of those hot ones over 90 degrees. Promises to be a day, perhaps even without rain. So let's, uh, let's gather together. Let's enjoy one another's company. And uh, let's, let's allow nature to fill us with new joy in our spiritual walk with our God in this month of the year. As summer gives way to autumn, this new season, these things we'll pull for and pray for as we hear nature's call once again. This has been Reverend James Fother, Jr., Pastor of the United Church of Montbello in Denver, Colorado. So glad to connect with you uh, via podcast today. Take good care and may God continue to bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and grant you peace. Amen, amen, and amen.